there were things that you knew that you kind of kept close to the vest. For example, Jody had borrowed two gas cans a month before the trip to Mesa, Arizona. So was she planning this that far in advance? She was, and with that information, um, I started to look at some of the receipts that were taken during an execution of a search warrant at her house, and I saw that um, there was a receipt from a five-gallon gas can. So now I knew that I had three five-gallon gas cans, 15 gallons, and I also knew that uh, in an interview with the police, her mother said, well, Jody told me that she wasn't anywhere in Mesa and she had the receipts to prove it. So it's clear she was planning to keep certain receipts, but she was also planning not to stop in Arizona for gas because the 15 gallons allowed her to go through the state of Arizona without stopping for gas. And there are no receipts to prove that she actually did it. Even in opening statement, um, the defense attorney indicated that this was uh, a trip that she hadn't planned. This was a trip that resulted as, uh, after she spoke to Mr. Alexander, so it was a spur of the moment kind of thing. But the gas cans spoke otherwise. So what is the untold story? Is it that this was not even an impulse thing that she did? Is it this long premeditation? What is the untold story? That is the untold story. A lot of uh, things that she did in advance. She rented a car to drive out to Mesa. She didn't rent it in her hometown, which is very small. She rented it 90 miles away. When she rented the car, she was initially given a red one. I don't want one of those because that one stands out. So she was given a white one. And when she showed up, she was, she was blonde haired. That's the person who helped her remembers that specifically. Yet when she killed him, and in the photographs that we see on the camera, she's dark haired. So in between then, she changed her hair color. Another thing that she did is that when she parked the car outside of the house, she turned, took both license plates off so that nobody would be able to identify the car. So she, she, she went to great lengths to make sure that no one could tell she was there. And she was, by and large, she was successful except for that one mistake. She probably would have gotten away with it.